Vivian Schweik, Senior Executive Director with Monique Global, and we are back for training video number two with SED Joe Irigoyen. And she is gonna share Instagram stories, which is her number one way of obtaining leads from Instagram. So Joe, if we could just revisit what we talked about in the first training video, what should you do? What shouldn't you do? And then you're gonna give us an actual live posting. Yes. <laughs> Hi everyone. So excited to be here sharing with you guys how I run my Instagram. In regards to Instagram stories, what you should do is you should post every day, multiple times a day. What you should do is you should be open about your life, your family, not just Monet, not just the products. You want to give people ways and reasons that they can relate to you. So whether you're a mom, a student, you're vegan, you're an athlete, you like traveling the world, you're currently about to take your boards, whatever it is, you post about that people relate to you. Also sharing and kind of knowing, giving them what they can expect. So my followers know they can expect my morning routine from me. They can expect my son's activities. If he's in swimming or gym class, I'm posting that. That's attracting moms. Um, they can expect a video about the business, but you have to be smart as to how you pitch the business. So I don't say, come work with me, join my team. Mm -mm. I tie it into what I'm doing. So if I'm in the gym class, I say I'm so blessed to be able to be here with Mateo in his gym class while still making an income. Like this is every mom's dream come true. And I still i am looking for two more girls that want to change their life this month. Build that sense of urgency, okay? Um, when my new girls ask you, what do you mean you only have two spots left? Clearly, we have as many spots as we want. But number one, how many can you handle? How many new people can you welcome to your team that you can dedicate time to? And number two, build that urgency. Say two spots left and girls will run for those two spots and then you can open two more and so on and so forth. So you can expect me to talk about the business every single day. Speaking of the business comes so natural to me. I talk about it every single day. And then the products. The products I need to remember to do more because it's like I get ready and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't record it. So I've been more um, <laughs> cautious about, I'm getting ready, put in a robe, show your face routine, show your skin routine, natural. Even if you're putting on your face creams, talking about your plans for the day, but they see you using the products, they see the products, they see your consistency with them and that's gonna cost them to ask you. So um, a day in my stories, yesterday, for example, we had a therapist come see my son to see just how he's doing since I'm not putting him in school. I recorded all of that and I tagged her. Always tag whoever you're with. Some people say, oh, but I don't want my followers to go to Tony. It doesn't matter. You should be so sure of what you're offering that they're not gonna stop following you to follow her. Send her the followers, show who she is, tag everyone you're with. It brings you exposure. If they repost you, her followers will also see you. So always tag the person you're with or the place you're at, even if you're eating great meal at hashtag the name of the restaurant um not hashtag at sign sorry we also use hashtags if you you know if you like to go that way instead so an example of like a day in my life a day in my stories my stories yesterday woke up with my morning routine i went running i came i drank my celery juice i posted my celery juice then i came here and i worked i showed that i was working then I talked about how I'm considering homeschooling. That got crazy interaction. Everyone was commenting, yes, no, why, whatever. But I share everything with my followers. Then the therapist came over. I showed her, I tagged her. I want them to see who I'm working with. I want them to see her page. The more interaction you get with other people, the better. Then I went to my dance class. I talked about how I had missed it so much for my new followers. They don't know that I go to dance class. And then I came home, did some, um, team calls, posted that I was doing team calls, even listened to a team call from the shower, posted that I was in the shower, <laughs> obviously not, you know, me. Um, and then just at night going to bed with my son. So it's a, a series of what you're doing throughout the day. For those of you that have full-time jobs, you're like, I can't be posting all the time. You can plan ahead. You can post before you leave your house, wake up 30 minutes earlier, do a little post. You can have some posts ready to quickly post them in lunchtime. You can show your face on the way home. And at night, you can also talk. And remember, it's not just the business. It's your life, what you're feeling, what struggle you had that day. Give people a reason to want to talk to you. Also, the polls and the questions, those work. I ask people polls for everything. 
what pillow should I buy? Pink or blue? Pink or blue have people voting so they can be constantly interacting with your page. Um, and I didn't put it for the homeschooling because I thought I knew I was already gonna get a bunch of interaction as is. But if I'm thinking of something, I'll be like, what are your thoughts on? And I put whatever it is in the question and have people tell me what they think. And then that's a way for me to write back to you and be like, really, I thought this. And you made a new connection, started a new friend, a new conversation. So the polls and the questions, definitely use them. Especially when we have flash sales and you're posting about the flash sale and you put like, who wants this? I'm ready. People will click and you'll say, hey, Tony, I saw you voted. I'm ready. Are you interested in the products? Sometimes they'll be like, I clicked by mistake. I'll be like, oh, it's okay. But how are you? that just opens up a conversation and maybe you won't mention the products to her right there and then because clearly she's not interested but at least her clicking by mistake she was watching your stories it opened up a way for you guys to talk so um you know we we talk about this a lot and i'm a, a, an advocate for telling the story right okay so whenever we have flash sales or let's say we have a sign up special for market partners i don't ever share the caption that money does mm -hmm. so Tell me, how do you, besides the polls and, and the engagement and stuff like that, how do you post when we have a flash sale on your IG stories? So number one, I post using the product. I have almost every product there is. I post using it, um, unless it's obviously a shampoo. I'll just say, oh, today I washed with the Intense Repair Shampoo. Then you educate, you tell them what it's good for. So I like to talk and explain what it's good for and then make some bullet points on the bottom also saying what it's good for the oil, 101 uses, you can use it for this, this, and this, anything to catch their attention. Mm -hmm. um, so show, it, show you using the product, educate them on what it is, and break down the discount for them. If we're talking flash sales in particular, mm -hmm. usually the oil is $84. Today you can get it for free if you buy another oil or whatever. So I like to show them the cart. I'm signing up a VIP right now, and this is how much it costs. This is how much she's saving, because mm -hmm. some people are visual. They're like, oh, well, from 3.30, it went down to 2.20, $100, that's good. So don't post the flyer that Monet sends. Don't post the email that Monet sends. Even within our team, we don't like to take each other's content because if we have the same followers, they see it on you, they see it on me, they see it on her, it just sounds like over and over, like repetitive. We can't even, it doesn't sound natural. You don't want people to feel like you're selling them. You know, so yes, I'm sharing this amazing sale with you of the moisturizer today is on sale and this is what it does. And these are the ingredients. This is why this one's better than what you're using. This is how much you're saving. So with flash sales, I usually like to do their three days normally. So the first and the last day I'll do like talking stories about it. And the middle day I'll force myself to do like a nice um, actual flyer post about it. But I create it, not what Monet sends us. Okay, great. And then let's talk about when we have a sponsoring special or when you're trying to recruit from IG, um, again, telling the story, but what's your what's your method of, of operation? So I'm very open with my followers, whoever's watching about why you should join the business, what this business has done for me. If we have a special or even if we don't, I'm like, guys, the fact that you can start your business for $350 and already by paying that 350, you get all your hair care. You have the chance to earn free trips, the chance to earn a free car, the chance at financial freedom for $350. And today it's only $199 or whatever the discount is. Or today you get $350 plus a free ring light that you can use to run your business. It's all about the excitement and the storytelling and being honest with them because people will complain about the price or will complain about, I like, I, um, I don't say I attack. I, I cover like all the main excuses. I, I talk about them on my stories because I don't. By the time they come to me, they're ready to sign up. They're not gonna tell me they don't have money. They're not gonna tell me they don't have time. So when I'm talking about the business, I say my story, and then if today I want to talk about, I want to focus on not having time. I'm gonna say you guys see me here in my house, but there's so many girls in my team that work full time. So many girls in my team that have three kids, two jobs, and they make it work because they see the bigger picture. You know, yes, it's, it's, it's a short-term sacrifice for a long-term reward. So what are you waiting for? I know you're watching me. Come join me. Change your life. Talk with um, confidence. When you speak with confidence, they're going to be like, yeah, that's me. I need that. I want the freedom. I hate my job. But you need to like be sure of what you're offering. If you're not sure of yourself, of the business opportunity, and of the business model, and of network marketing, if you're still a little bit unsure about it, people can sense that, even in your voice, in your eyes, in the way you talk. So if you're not speaking with confidence, even on your stories, you're not going to attract people that way. 
Fantastic. <laughs> that was great. Um, any other any other tips or anything that, that we didn't cover already that you can think of? So every time I do a talking story, I like to put some type of word or words in it to catch people's attention in case they don't have their volume up. So always pick one or two, max three words, and make it pretty, cohesive, nice, appealing to the eye. Black and white font, or maybe like a nude, or a beige, or a red, but if you pick the red, you can't pick the red and the blue and the yellow, or the pink and the green. Like, you don't want it to be like a splatter of colors and different fonts, no. Nice and organized, two or three words, maybe a hashtag, if you're with someone, you tag them, enough for them to be like, wait, she said free? What's free? Turn up the volume, I wanna to listen to what's free or great news, or I, I always put, today's gonna be the best day ever when we have a flash sale. Why is it the best day ever? What's going on in her life? They put the volume up there to go to flash sale. So just make sure when you're doing your stories, you are um, keeping the font, the colors, everything cohesive, and a mix of both, 80% your life, 20% the products and or the business. All right, so now we're actually going to uh, record Joe actually posting something on her story. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So since today I've been a little MIA because I have Tony here with me, I'm going to go on my Instagram and apologize to them that I'm MIA, but that I'm working on something super exciting and you know, just what I would usually do. Okay. So when I go to post, click on the little camera, the camera should, it's always facing me already. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick, um, you know, the filter I want to use. I love this one for now. Oh wait, actually let's do hands-free. So you go to the bottom all the way to hands-free. Once you're in hands-free, you can switch to the filter. And like that, once you click it, it's going to record without you holding it. Okay. So, hi guys. Sorry I've been so MIA today. I showed you I'm up to something super exciting. They gave me a quick break and I wanted to show you my hair. As always, I was running late this morning so I couldn't do anything. I applied the mousse and it's drying with those natural heatless waves that I love so much. So I wanted to show you that. And I will let you guys know what I'm up to later today. So stay tuned for that. Um, I can't post much about it now, but especially if you're already in the business, you're going to love this. And if you're not in the business, you're going to want to join me so you can be a part of what I'm doing. So just wanted to check in. Love you all. I'll be back soon. I'm talking about I'm being MIA. So I'm going to put, I'm sorry. And then you're going to be like, what, what is she sorry about? And then I'm talking about my hair in the next one. So. So it lets you post multiple throughout all of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Who doesn't love products that help you out when you're running late? Help you out. And then like a little laughing face. Make it a little smaller. A little smaller. I'm gonna put a background because I have a lot going on there. So here at the end, I put you're going to love what I'm doing. Join my team today and you can be a part of this. Okay. okay, let's put two. Okay, so I posted that you're going to love what I'm doing. Join my team today. You can be a part of this too. Next, I'm going to send it and then I'm going to do one more saying who can guess what I'm up to. And I'm going to put a question box. Okay. So for this, I picked boomerang mm -hmm. and then I can pick the filter once you're in boomerang. Mm -hmm. So I posted it. And then I'm gonna come up here, well, come up here, question box, up to, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. There, that's some interaction for my followers while we keep working. I love your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> So everyone, you just heard Joe tell her systematic approach on how she uses Instagram stories for her business, for her life, and also to use that law of attraction to bring people into her business as market partners or VIPs. So click on the link below. Um, make sure that you watch the next following video for training and also to follow us on YouTube.